welcome back to my room so today i'm actually going to be doing something insanely scary on my channel i want to clean out my closet and that means that i have to show you guys what's in there right now which i have purposely avoided it can be a little bit scary in there oh my god So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna go through there and I'm gonna be as harsh on myself as possible. I'm really just gonna break down why I'm keeping certain things and why I'm throwing some things out. So hopefully that can give you guys an idea of like why maybe you should be getting rid of some things because cleaning out a closet is essential. Sorry, this is like distracting me. Yeah, let's go to my closet right now. Let's do this. This is how my closet is right now. Can we just talk about how this pole right here is bent? Not sure if it's because these poles are from Ikea and they're really cheap, or because I genuinely just have way too much clothes and weight on it. The only good thing about my closet is that I use these velvet hangers, so everything has like a lot of space, which is probably another reason why I have so much clothes in here. Kind of do have a little bit of organization right now in terms of color. For example, right here I have all of my white clothing, and then I have this yellow section here a little bit of a red, some pinks, some stripes, and then these are all my pants. And I actually had like a bunch of pants right here, kind of all folded up and organized, but they fell on my floor along with my clean bath mats. And then I have some hats just kind of like piled up on my yoga mat that I don't really use as often as I should. Up here, I have some bed sheets, some Build-A-Bears that Roger gave me when we first started dating, and all of these bags just piled up on each other. And now that y'all know what's happening, we are gonna go in there and I'm just gonna try everything off. I guess let's start with the actual sweater that I'm wearing right now because believe it or not, I got this sweater last year and you guys have probably never seen it before because I've never actually worn it, which is surprising because this color is gorgeous. I love turtlenecks, so I wear them constantly. And the fit of this is just just amazing so I'm definitely gonna be keeping this guy but there are gonna be a lot of things that I am gonna be getting rid of that are really cute so they'll be up on my Depop it's at Diana Chamomile I'm also thinking of maybe starting a vintage online store so if you guys are interested in that just catch up with me on like my Instagram and my Depop that's probably where I'll start posting about all that stuff but anyway um, I'm getting out of topic now first pile of stuff I'm sorry Clem <laughs> I just scared her that's better so this stuff right here is all of my yellow earth toned kind of things i don't think that i'm gonna get rid of a lot of stuff here because a lot of it i actually do wear i will not be letting go of this because i've actually worn it a lot i got this when i was curating their 79th street store and i really like how minimal the silhouette is and how easy it is to wear i probably wouldn't wear it with this like bralette here in the middle just because it kind of looks funky but maybe with like a tank top or some sort of tube top underneath it would be really cute I have these two tops here that are the same exact fabric this one i got last fall because i really felt like it would be cute to have like a nice ditzy floral for the fall time i'm not quite sure about the solo and this one is a lot more of a cropped shape to it so i'm gonna try it on and see which of the two i'm gonna keep because i don't think i'm actually gonna keep these both yeah clum Okay, gotta say I'm actually not as bothered by the silhouette anymore and I think it's because I buttoned it up a little bit lower than I usually do and it has this awkward tie here which isn't really flattering in my opinion so I'm probably just gonna tuck it in. I really love this almost retro looking collar. I've got the second top on now and uh, let's be real, this might as well be a little bralette because it uh, basically shows all of my midriff. I just... I don't know. I don't always feel up for it. Overall, the fit of it isn't so great. It kind of cuts me off in like a really weird way. But on the other hand, I do have crop tops from Brandon Melville that I actually genuinely like. This one is a little bit longer at the bottom though. You've got more fabric. I've worn it all summer and I think one of the biggest things I like about it is how it's like off the shoulder. You can just tell by how it's laying on my arm. It doesn't really have like any weird shape to it at all i'm obsessed with gingham you guys know i am but i don't really have any like mustardy gingham tops so i have been fully enjoying this and this little crop top i've actually had in my closet for years i'm sure some of you guys recognize it from previous videos but i haven't worn it in a while at least this year i was wearing it last summer but i completely forgot about it somehow and i really like the color this is gonna sound weird but it kind of reminds me of like a cross between something that a grandpa would wear 
and Madeline. I've actually been wearing this a lot during the summertime and I really love these like sleeve folds back there and it has a little button if you want to tighten it up a little bit. If you guys remember this top, we go way back. I actually got this one last year but I wore it so much in my videos. I'm pretty sure you guys got sick of seeing it. In a way, I like going through my closet and like really looking through everything just so that I can remember the love that I have for the pieces that I have. This shirt low-key reminds me of Boris Waldo but that's not necessarily what's wrong with it. What I really don't like about it is that it has these like cuffs on it that reminds me of those pajama shirts that one would wear when they were like five years old. So I was thinking of maybe possibly cutting it. This is another turtleneck that I don't really wear much of, but I really haven't had a chance to wear anyway because I did get it last spring. I actually don't wear brown often, but I do think that this is really cute. It's kind of giving me Comme de Garçon vibes here with this like little pop of red in the heart. So I'm gonna see if I can give this a chance this fall. I actually got this one at a Reformation sample sale and it was kind of a ripoff at $40 because it was originally from a pajama set that cost $80 on the Reformation site. I think they got confused and thought this was an actual top, but I mean, I don't mind that. I actually really do love the colors. I love the fit. This one I got at the Goodwill this year. I've been wearing a heck ton of her. It's kind of more of like an orangey, light tangerine color, and it has all of these pops of color all over it, and it's made out of this silk fabric. It makes me feel like a flamenco dancer, so keeping her. And then I've got another sweater that's giving me Daphne from Scooby-Doo vibes. I really like how chunky this turtleneck is. It also has this split here on the side, which helps me kind of like tuck it into the front and then have it out in the back if I want to. But I just realized this sweater reminds me a lot of this one right here. So I think I'm gonna decide between these two on my own. This is the pile that I'm keeping. And this is the pile that I'm selling. Now, the red pile. I already know I'm going to get rid of this guy because I had originally thrifted it to do a little thrift fix kind of video. And I noticed later on, unfortunately, that it has a bunch of holes in the fabric. I think I'm just going to end up donating this back to the Goodwill. And I'm going to try this guy on right now. I thrifted this back on a trip that I made to like go see my friend Sophia in North Carolina. And I just love this really tacky print. The only thing that I don't like right now is the length of the bottom so i think i might just cut these into like cute little mini shorts and wear this with a pair of sneakers next summer i have this little jacket top that i actually got from free people some years ago i love this top i actually wore it a lot last fall and i'll be wearing it a lot this fall as well, I'm sure. But the only thing that's kind of hard about it is finding something to wear underneath it. We're making some good progress here. I only have four of all the things that I actually had in my red pile. And we are adding some things into the donate and the sell pile. This is looking better. I'm actually kind of proud of myself. Now we are gonna be getting into the pinks. Whoa, this is why I have to fix everything in here. Okay, I actually just recently thrifted this top and the only reason why I haven't worn it yet is because it's actually a little bit too heavyweight to wear for the summertime because it's made out of this waffle knit fabric. It's kind of got this dusty salmon-y color and I also really love the sleeves because they land in a very flattering place. I really like this, so I'm gonna keep it. This little tank has been a go-to for me this past summer. It's just this really cute little smocked floral one and I really like how dainty these straps are. I think it's very flattering and I've been really actually loving to wear with these pair of jeans. This one I definitely wanted to keep just because I mean not only does it have an amazing message on it but look at that font. I'm totally wearing this with the wrong bra but I'm definitely keeping this. This is one of my favorite pieces that I've thrifted just recently. I love this crochet work like I wish I could make this at home. I know how to knit. I don't know how to crochet. It is not easy wearing sweaters when it's so damn hot outside but I have on my Pepto pink sweater that you guys probably all know and love because I wore it, I'm pretty sure, to like most of my video intros of last year or like the beginning of this year. I can't remember, but this is just like one of my favorite sweaters ever. It's got this little mock neck. I love it so much and I, I'm not letting go of her. I'm so bad at this. 
got this little striped turtleneck that has this medley of different colors that are in different shades of pink and orange and it's got these bell sleeves on it it's just amazing the only thing that i would say is that it's a bit itchy but nothing that i can't handle this one is a bodysuit and these pom-poms are so adorable originally from for love and lemons i love this like really soft pink color so i'm keeping this but um that means I have not gotten anything from the pink section to the donate bin. For some reason, I don't really wear that much black and I don't wear that much white either. So I'm really going to go through everything here and just grab the pieces that I actually do wear. Here is going to be the gold mine of the things that I'm going to be selling and donating. This top has definitely got to go. I got it back when I was in high school. I've always just been afraid to even wear this in public from all like the nip slippage that honestly tended to happen when I wore this. I have this little bodysuit that I never wore because I honestly didn't fit into this little like cup area either. So I'm not even gonna put it on. I'm just gonna go and put this into the... Should I donate this or should I sell this? Then we have this cute little crop top that's originally from Zara, but I had thrifted it. I think it's cute, but I don't know, I just really didn't see myself wearing it as much as I thought I would this summer. I'm pretty sure I've had this crop top since I was in college, but I never really went for it. I mean, it has that square neckline that I really like and all these eyelets on it, very feminine and cute, but I'm just not a big fan of crop tops that go up too high. I feel like this is just like a very awkward place for it to end. I'm definitely gonna be selling her because she is still very cute and she's in great condition since I hardly ever wore her. huge fan of the big bold polka dots that this has and the little wrap silhouette is really cute the only thing i don't like is this right here like i definitely do have a lot of trouble keeping it closed i'm thinking of maybe getting a little hook and eye kind of thing so i can just sew it myself and not have to worry about this like gaping neckline that i have here this is one of my favorites to wear ever and i actually scored this piece at the reformation sample sale it really just makes me super happy and i think that that's something that i should keep in mind when i'm like deciding between pieces this one's also cute because i like to wear this one as a little bathing suit cover and i love this embroidery it has this little grecian looking city and then on the back it says don't follow me i'm lost too oh my gosh do you guys see those massive clouds we hardly are getting any light in this bedroom so i'm just going to quickly show you guys the things that i'm not going to be getting from the pile this bodysuit i will not be keeping because of how low cut it is and it also gives me wedgies i got this top with the intention of having a nice white button down but i got a better one and i never actually wore it this one's from they skins theory i think i said that right so i will probably be selling this or donating it it has this really cool cuff here here that's extended and kind of billows out. I think it'd be good for like the workplace too. And this one's a cute little ribbed boat neck top that I think would be adorable to sell as well, but it just doesn't fit me. So to the sell pile it goes. I have my scarf collection here and I think I'm going to be selling half of this because I only wear about the other half that I'm not going to be selling. So let's see. This one right here, I wear all the time in my hair. I love the pattern and I really like the blues and the greens with the red. Um, and it just looks really cute in my hair. So I'm going to be keeping this one. And then this one right here is actually really good as a bathing suit cover up. And it's made out of this really soft silk fabric with these pom poms. It's really fun. And this one's really cute. I thrifted this one a while back but I just don't really wear it that much. So I think I'm gonna be selling this one. This one's also really cute, but I don't really wear it that much. I really like the colors and I love these flowers. This one right here isn't actually a scarf. It's a tie that I had on a romper that didn't fit me. It is pretty versatile, but I don't know. I'm just not really ever going for it. And I might end up missing it if I do and I'm selling it, but you know what? I don't really wear it that much, so I'm gonna be selling this one. This one has been with me through so much. I love the flowers, the pastels, the colors, the butterflies, it's just, it's perfect. So I am gonna be keeping it. The only thing that I have to do though is go back in there and give it a new hem. It needs a little work, but she's been with me through so much. All right guys, so 
here's the deal i started editing this and i realized it's already way too long to show you guys my entire closet so i'm gonna end this video here as a part one but if you guys want to see a part two let me know down below i'll still probably film it because i find these to be quite therapeutic i know maybe not everyone's into this kind of thing but i don't know i think it's so essential to just give our closets a refresh i'm gonna stop talking now because this video is already way too long so i will see you guys in the next video bye love you